a parametric approach to designing an industrial pick-and-place robot. Pick-and-place robots quickly and accurately move items from one location to another. These pick-and-place robots not only increase efficiency, they also resolve ergonomic problems often associated with manual pick-and-place operations. The robots move within a predetermined space called a working envelope. Pick-and-place robots have applications in all types of industries. They are used in assembly and packaging, in quality control to remove defective products, and for sorting different types of parts. They can place anything from tiny microprocessors or delicate medical samples to large and heavy automotive parts. Depending on the size of an item, a pick-and-place robot can move hundreds of parts per minute. Pick-and-place robots present some complex design challenges because there are many moving parts operating at very high speeds. In designing a pick-and-place robot, a designer must ensure that they are creating the highest performing product at the lowest possible design cost. The designer must consider the different performance objectives, such as the allowable working envelope, payload size and weight, performance demands, and maneuverability objectives. The designer must also make sure that the product will minimize both production time and maintenance costs in whatever the eventual industrial application. Recently, a leading manufacturer of packaging machines approached the MapleSoft Engineering Solutions team to help them design a pick-and-place robot for a new packaging system. The designers wanted to optimize the design of the robot by first creating a high-fidelity model using MapleSim, the system-level modeling and simulation platform from MapleSoft. The team then used Maple, MapleSoft's advanced computation tool, to examine the model and its dynamic behavior with different sets of parameters. Specifically, this would allow designers to precisely determine the proper motor size for the robot and the most advantageous lengths for the robot arms. Using a high fidelity model allowed the designers to optimize the design early in the design process, ultimately saving both time and money in the design. Here is an illustration of the robot model as developed in MapleSim, MapleSoft's multi-domain system-level modeling and simulation platform. The model is mounted on a reference base to which three links that form the robot's arms are connected. The links are actuated by three servo motors. These motors provide the rotational motion and control with three degrees of freedom. An end effector or gripper is connected to the third link. The end effector consists of a translational component which allows for the desired pick-and-place action. Each of the arms includes sensor components to provide force and torque information. Embedded at various strategic locations are numerous probes which monitor performance characteristics including motor speed, torque, and joint angle. Maple, MapleSoft's software solution for math, data analysis, visualization and programming provides the designer with insights into different areas of the design. The designer is able to perform multiple iterations of simulations to determine the optimum parameters with which to design the finished product. Using Maple's unparalleled computational capabilities, the designer can perform kinematic analysis of the design, enabling the designer to verify the robot's working envelope, visualize its motion, and determine optimal movement paths. A critical decision in the design was whether to configure the elbow joint on the right or left side. The kinematic analysis tool allowed the designer to evaluate both right and left positions. By observing the robot's behavior in both options, the designer was able to make an informed decision on which side to place the elbow joint. Using Maple, the designers were able to test if the robot was operating within an allowed range of motion and if any of the joint angles exceeded a specified limit. Based on a predetermined path of the robot, the angle, angular velocity, and angular acceleration of each joint was determined. The results proved that the path of the robot resulted in large angular acceleration spikes, revealing that the designer needed to make modifications to decrease the magnitude of the spikes. The modification not only lessened the acceleration spikes, but reduced the load on the joint. In order to select the smallest motor size, but still meet the performance criteria of the robot, 
The MapleSoft Engineering Solutions team developed a tool to help the designer select the most suitable motor size. Based on the manufacturer's performance curves, the designer selected several motor options for the robot. The desired speed, torque, and energy of the motors was determined, plotted, and then overlaid with the performance curves from the manufacturer's specs. In this way, the designer could easily compare the simulated results for each motor with the manufacturer's specifications. Likewise, the MapleSoft Engineering Solutions team developed a tool to perform a parameter sweep to observe the effects that different arm lengths would have on the operation of the robot. The MapleSoft Engineering Solutions team developed a fully parametric system-level model of the pick-and-place robot that allowed the machine manufacturer's designers to make informed design choices early in the design process. Using the tools MapleSim and Maple, the MapleSoft Engineering Solutions team defined the optimal configuration for the industrial application. By simply modifying the parameters of their existing simulation model, the machine manufacturer is now able to use the same model and analysis tools to optimize and validate future designs. To learn more about how MapleSoft products can be used in your engineering designs, visit the MapleSoft website to learn more about this example plus other applications of MapleSoft products.